how to print a specific area of the web page using jquery so if you have a web page you can have a footer say header you can have certain images you can have certain tables you can have some paragraphs some divs various things you can have now whenever you say control p or try to print on a browser by default it is going to print everything but if you are interested in just one thing say you want to print just div so how to print this area only today we are going to see how to print a specific area of the web page using jquery if you are using code igniter or any other framework everywhere this is going to work and in your simple page or simple website also you can adopt this uh, functionality for this we will be using because all, already we are uh, talking about jquery so jquery will be already there but we'll have a plugin which is called as jquery dot print area print area dot js so these two we are going to download and we, we are going to uh, suggest from the scratch how you are going to print a specific area okay let me show you what we are going to do this is our basic page i have already made this because this is only simple html nothing else i have done no code of jquery has been written as of now so when we'll print this full page it is going to show me or print me all the page and then this print main content so i have three contents here first is my header section the last one is my footer section and this is my main content section so i am interested in this area only header footer i am not interested if i am interested i have already an option print full page so it is going to print me all and then the print main content this one so this the code of this particular area or this code i have made a new folder and this is my code so you have to just open uh, your notepad plus plus and just make a uh, few divisions make first division for the buttons second division for the header section third division for the second means uh, the middle section main section and then this one, the final section and then this div i am interested in printing say the middle one okay the middle one this one i am interested in the middle one so what you are going to do first of all you have to insert or you have to link certain scripts as i suggested we will be employing two of these first is because jquery we will be using so you have to have a basic jquery for that we will include okay we will include script and then source we are going to download it just now i have not downloaded it but we are going to download it first we'll write so that you can understand what we are going to download double quotes and then this is this will be jquery.js because we'll, we'll be renaming it uh, anyway jquery.js okay this is done now let me close the script as well script let me close it i have to include one more script so let me copy it and again paste and now the main main crux of this the today's story the main crux is this one so you have to understand it very well it has to be jquery.printarea.js jquery.printarea area.js this is important okay now we'll add some code some simple code of jscript uh, jquery so you are aware of that i i hope that you are aware of that so we'll write something in the script and what let us see uh, we have not downloaded these two we'll be doing it shortly but before that we need to complete our code so now what i'm trying to do is i have a button print one print button one print run two on this print i want to print full page and on this printing i want to print the main content so i have this button id and then i want to give some classes also because on the basis of the class we are going to pick the content so the basic the full page let us give a class 
So let us let us name the class as say print all p all. And now let us name the content which you want to print specifically, which is our main content. This is the div. Let me call it as pm print main. So now I have two classes. One of this whole so that I'll be employing it to print all of the stuff, and I'll be employing this pm to to print only this area. Okay. Now in the script, what I'm going to write is like this. First dollar document dot ready, which we all always use. Document and then dot ready. Then we'll start with the function. Function, okay. Round brackets and curly brace start. Okay. I have to close the curly brace also. Curly brace and then round bracket. Now, my first function will be the click function on the print button one. So what I'm going to do is I'll again say doll dollar and then in the round brackets. Because I'm using ID, so I have to use hash. Hash. And what is the name of what is the name of my this one? This is my PO. Or inside this we have ID button. So I'll use the ID. And that is why I'm using hash. Print button one. So when I'm going to click it, say I'm going to click it, what I need to do is I need to write another function. And that function is going to print. So let me just copy this, paste this. Okay. Now I have to make a variable which is called as say mode and then give it iframe because there are various uh, way this print area.js works. So we'll be using the pop-up version is equal to single code inside this. I'll use iframe. If you're not understanding, no problem. Just write like this because by the end of the discussion, you'll be I'm sure you will be able to know what exactly we have done. So where close CLOSE then is equal to mode and then what you have to do mode is equal to pop up. As I said, we'll be using this pop up entity. So you have to use double equal to and inside this in the double quotes you have to use this pop up. You have to write pop up. Okay. And just end it by a sync code. This is done. Okay. Next one. Next one is you have to make options because this is this options are you, you are going to pass in the print area function. So you have to make where options and you can change the name, no problem with that. Then first will be the mode, we'll take it as mode only. Give a comma, then pop close because you want to close it also sometime. If you are printed, you want to close it also. So just make it close and round bracket uh, this curly braces and semicolon. Right? This is done. Now the final work is I have a button press, print button one, but I have to fetch that area which I would need to print. For that, I have to use the selector again. For that, because I've given everything in div, so I'll use div and dot. What I'm going to use? This P all. This is my class. So I'll use this class and I'll surround it by a double code. Div dot p all. I want to print on on this button. I want to print all. And then I'll use the function which I'll receive from print area dot js that is called as print area. And inside this, we have just made options. So let us pass this options. Okay. Now we are done, everything is fine and I will copy this code from 9 to 14 line number and paste it again. Why? Because I want to give the same functionality for the button 2 also. This button 2 as I already showed you. So this will be button 2. Okay. Now this button 2 but now I want to print only this area that is the class which I have given is only pm. So this PM, let me copy it. Now I have this PM for this. Okay, we are done with the code. Code is ready. Now we need these two files. So let us go to our browser and just say 
download cheat query okay I'll download the latest version then I'll say download jQuery printarea.js. What you are going to do? Download jQuery.printarea.js. This is a jQuery plugin registry. Let me open it. So I am going to download it. This is my printarea or printarea jQuery uh, plugin. Download now and jQuery also download. So let us take some uh, development version. This is also downloaded. So let me go to the area where we have downloaded it. This is the place where I have downloaded it. So let me rename it because of what I have. Let me, let me tell you first of all. This jQuery is the jQuery which we generally use, which is the basic one. But in the print area, you will find it as zipped. Let me unzip it because I have to take just one file out of it. Extract it. Go inside this. Go inside this. Go inside demo also and in this you will find number of files you are going to take only this one jquery.printarea.js only this one okay the only this one so now as i suggested i have two files which files this jquery I'll, i'm going to rename it let me rename it make it jquery.js because this is this is what I have, we have given in the code this is jquery.js and this is jquery.printarea.js. Now just copy these two and place in the folder where you have created this HTML file of which you are going to print. Let me go to that area. I have just one file which, which we, are, we have been uh, coding and these two jquery.js, jquery.printarea.js. Now we are ready with the work. Let us go ahead. I hope you understood what I said. Uh, just uh, explain. Let me run it for you. Con make control S. You have to save it. So let us run it. Everything is fine. Uh, okay, one more thing. One more. This closing is required because we have added two functions. One is this, second is this. So you have to close this brace also. Control S means save and run. In your browser and then let us make full page print this is our full page see when you will if you are using Chrome and if you are not using this none so you'll be seeing all these uh, headers and footers which is being given by Chrome so you just you can, you can just make it none so that you don't see those things and uh, let me cancel it now we are interested in a specific area let me click print main content. So this is our main content. This is how we print a specific area of your web page using jQuery. And this portion, which is, this is just because of this div style and I am I'm sure you'll be able to manage it. Okay, this is how you print a specific area. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.